Cone Bone One. Good evening, Aterna. No, that's that's. I just noticed there's a cat paw print on my computer desk from a certain sunny. <laughs> Amazing intro. Cone Bone Y, good evening. Pathless, it is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 42. Oh yeah, 42. 42 for you, episode 42 of Enderall Forgotten Stories. The Skyrim conversion mod, total conversion mod. We are here. We are returning to the Sun Temple to give a re- because we went to old Dothagrad and found some wibbly jibbly machine and some other things, and then we saw Kalia, I don't know, turn into a freaky deaky monster thing. Shadowborn, maybe? My sir, my dude. Uh, not entirely sure. But I'm sure we will find out if Kalia is uh, Shadowborn. That's interesting. They're the people that killed the Lightborn and Luna, my character from The Rim, which is the game that comes before this one that I'm also playing, which uploads the day before this, is, as, as I understand, I'm, I'm not really there yet, but is supposed to be uh, Shadowborn as well. And the Shadowborns kill the Lightborns. Um, who basically were just a bunch of mages that were dicks that decided to be like, well, we have more power than everybody else, so we're going to take over and rule the world. Uh, if you are new to the channel, those are Roshko and Agaijimas. If you're new to the series, Hajime Mashte. And if you're regular, like Mrs. Voice, like Teresa, like Eluin, like Clara, like Isabella Steele, Okairi Nasai, welcome back, welcome home, thank you so much for spending some time with me. New subscribers, we have a lot of new subscribers for Narim. Doing an, you know, Narim is an Oblivion uh, total conversion mod, like Enderal is a uh, Skyrim total conversion mod. I mean, it definitely has a skyrim -y feel, especially inside the castle and... You're looking at this dude, the keeper. You know, he has definitely has a Skyrim vibe going off of him. Uh, and the rim is, you know, it feels and looks like Oblivion. If you've ever played Oblivion, you'll know what I mean. Uh, but we have Jackson Spry, 98 Crash Bandicoot, and Der Underda. Maybe uh, Miss Voice can confirm or deny if that is, if that's german and it has a it has a german vibe so the way that it's spelled is three words it's d-e-r so i'm saying der and then under is a-n-d-e-r-e -E, and then just da like d-a like yes in in russian so maybe it's russian um or maybe it's just a silly made-up name because you can never really know for sure um but have um, you heard Apparently, the Blue Islands Coalition sent an emissary here to Enderal. Despite the wars. Yeah, I already met her. They are bold. She, she you gotta was, give them that. She was very flirty. Um, so that, that's how I'm saying it. I might not be correct, but I'm trying. They're all watching in the rim. Jackson Sprite is also watching Whispering Hills, which had just ended this past Sunday. Whispering Hills is a Fallout 4 mod, and the new series will be uh, starting in just a couple days, and it's a secret. It's always a secret. And uh, should be pretty exciting and fun, though. We'll also be starring as Belle Steele, uh, who is a subscriber. Hopefully, just like you. So, if you have not subscribed, please do so. If you comment, I'll... I normally talk directly to my subscribers, <laughs> if you hadn't noticed. And uh, if you're around long enough and interested, I might even make you a character in a series. Just to say thank you. Other new subscribers, Kiko... Arukara, man, I said it right in the other episodes. Kiko Arukara. I'm normally very good at saying Japanese names because I have a lot of experience doing that with, um, you know, uh, being a big Japanese wrestling fan, uh, knowing the correct pronunciations of wrestlers' names and things is important to me. 
So I'm normally pretty good, even if it's a name I'm not uh, that familiar with of you know, figuring out how to say it correctly. I mean, once you know how to say Kazuchika Okada or Kazuchika Okada, which apparently is a dual pronunciations for that particular one, or Tatsuya Naito, or the Los Ingobernables de Japón, or things like that. Um, yeah, so I can do re Japanese wrestling stuff. Quick Smoke is watching If. If is the series that uploads tomorrow. I promise we're going to be playing in just a second. I'm almost done. Uh, if is a Skyrim modded series with multiple mods. Um, if is interesting, immersive, and forgotten. Forgotten City uh, was the first couple episodes, and it was such a good mod that the gentleman that made it, um, it doesn't make mods anymore, and he makes games, and his first game was called Forgotten City. Um, interesting NPCs is absolutely amazing in my opinion, and immersive world encounters just makes everything a lot. All that I am saying is that there are more efficient ways to battle this red madness. And heathen machines atop the Sun Temple are the last thing that will calm the townsfolk. Maybe. But if this heathen machine is what the Pyreans used to combat the cycle, I want it near. Even okay, if it yeah. turns out to be useless. Only a fool turns down a chance. Sharim, how long will the reconstruction take? Well, that depends on how many Pyrian mechanics you have on hand that can help us decipher these plans. Just think for once, Aranthiel. How are we supposed to give you an estimation if we don't even know what the finished machine is supposed to look like? We will get to work right away, Grandmaster. But in any case, we're going to need a lot of steel and Pyrian crystals. You will get them. Now get to work. Let's get to work. Is he going to talk to me standing on the table up here? You did excellent work. <laughs> we will reconstruct this machine no matter the price. Here, this will reward you for your effort. That still leaves the sigil stone. Just, just money? You're just giving me money? And that wasn't even a lot of money. Speak with Callie about what happened to that old Dothagard grad. Is she still here or did she leave too? I can't turn that far. Uh, right, you mentioned the stone before. What's it for? Huh. What's it for? It's simple. I've told you that the Pyreans knew about the cycle, and that they too battled it before they vanished. The Sigil Stone was a magical defense they created to protect themselves from the Red Madness. Protect? How? Through small fragments that segregate once a certain ritual is performed on it. Wear one of these fragments and it will serve you like a shield for your spirit. The stone won't produce enough for all citizens of Ark, but enough for all of us keepers and the guard. The problem is that we lack knowledge about this ritual, and those who have it have been dead for millennia. So that's why we need the memory of a dead person. Correct. The entire plan revolves around a discovery which is exhibited in the Chronicum. The frozen corpse of a Pyrian, which a fisherman found adrift in the Northern Sea some years ago. And we have to, what, somehow access his memories? Yes. The ice prevented his body from decaying. But go to the Chronicum and speak to Archmagister Marigil. He will be able to explain it better than I can. Okay. Apparently nobody has any issues with me standing on the table, which is kind of funny. Figured they would have been like, get down from there, you imbecile. All right, so did we pick up multiple quests again? We did. Um, I I kind of want to talk to Kalia more than anything else. Cause, um, and I had to be careful because she did not like me pressuring her about um, her whole... All right, so I, I say that, and then I don't actually switch the quest. Oh, no, I'm on the right quest. Sorry. I didn't finish. I was, I was, I was so close. I was talking about uh, F and uh, the Skyrim modded series that I do on Fridays, and I only had one more. Jeff Morse. Jeff Morse and Kiko. Um... 
Arukara, I, I don't know what they're watching. So if it happens to be this, awesome. Thank you. What? As if they'd ever listen to me. Yeah, of course not. You sound really snooty. That was my so basically what I do is when I don't know, I just... Thy I just... name is my sacrament, and thy path I will honor. All right, they just In... wander around saying that over and over again. Um, I just normally give shout-outs in every series, trying to cover my bases. Oh, she's hacking and whacking and smacking. You taking out your aggressions? Yeah, this just doesn't make any sense. What? Why can't it ever be easy? Where? I don't... Callie, where are you going? Alright, you done? You chilled out? Trying... No, I'm trying Sa to talk to you. Good to see you. Do you need anything? Why does it say character? Not really, I just came to talk. Why? Yes. Okay. Yes, that just mm, might That's work. convenient, actually. I think I still owe you an explanation. Damn right you do about old Dothagrad, I take it? Yes, but let's talk somewhere else. Come on. Like your bedroom? Oh, wait, what you put up for dukes? Are we fighting? Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> what the... <laughs> so... Sorry for all the secrecy. I just didn't want anyone else to listen in. I get it. What is happening in that picture over there to our right? What is happening? It looks like it's part like a medical book where it's like trying to show you like what somebody looks like on the inside. But then it also kind of looks like the, the I'm going to say lady because it looks like it has long hair. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, the, 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 the creature in there also looks like it's diddling itself. So I, I don't know what's going on with that picture. I can understand that. So what did you want to discuss? Well, that moment when I neutralized the leader of the bandits in old Dothalgrad. I'm sure you noticed that I was different then. That's a nice way to put it. Yeah, you completely lost it back there. Uh, that's one way to put it. You seemed upset. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. What, what are you talking about? Upset. You choose your words carefully, Saira. I appreciate that. I'll make this quick. There is something about me that you don't know. That no one knows, actually. Do you remember what I told you in the Curarium about the destroyed village? Yes. Well, I... I wasn't entirely honest with LIAR! You. What do you... So, uh... You do know actually what actually happened there. Not all of it, no. And it's true that I don't know how I ended up there. But I remembered something just before I regained consciousness. Some kind of... vague memory. A feeling coupled with an image. But booties rocking everywhere? A uh, feeling? What exactly do you mean by that? It's hard to describe because it didn't last very long, but... <sighs> I saw myself, but I was somehow above the rooftops as if I flew. Oh. Below me, I saw all the chaos. Where are you going? The dead, the fire, the devastated houses, and I somehow felt hot, but from inside as if my blood was boiling. Well, you, I mean, you are, you are hot, but I don't think that's what you mean. You want a massage? What's going on with your back? There's some weird, like, is it oily? Are you sweaty? What is that? You got some freckles. This person is busy. D uh, doing what exactly? <sighs> that sounds crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know how to describe it better than that. So that was, what, a memory? Something that really happened? I'm not sure I'm following. It was something that actually happened, I'm sure of it. But the memory, it was somehow blurred. Like a dream, but a very vivid one. What happened then? Nothing. I woke up, and from there things happened just as I've already told you. But that's not really what I'm trying to get at. In that memory, when I saw all those dead bodies and all that destruction, I felt... 
satisfaction, pleasure, as if all that suffering, all that pain was the most exhilarating thing I'd ever seen. So you're a little freaky, huh? A little freaky diggy? Uh, I'm not sure I can follow. What are you trying to tell me? Well, I didn't know what to make of that memory myself for quite a long time. But then, things happened that made me understand. There is something inside my head, Saira. Some kind of second soul, an entity. Most of the time it sleeps, but there are situations in which it wakes up. Mostly when something atrocious happens or has happened. Blood, pain, death. Whenever I'm confronted with these kinds of things, it tries to... I don't know how to put it. Tries to take control of me, and then things like Alt de Thulgrad happen. It's never managed to completely take me over, and it hasn't gotten as far as it did in Alt Thulgrad for a long, long time now. But that memory from the village, I think that is what happens when I let myself go completely. In other words, you have some kind of demon inside you? Hmm, that's a lot to take in, and I'm guessing this power you suddenly had when you killed the bandit comes from the entity inside of you? So, again, choosing words carefully, saying a demon, she might not like that, so saying power sounds nicer, so hopefully she likes this? Yes, it is immense, Saira. I can feel it every time it is trying to take me over. I don't even want to think about what would happen if I were to give in completely. Oh, okay, so it, it didn't like or dislike it, so now I'm afraid if I say this. If that name seems fitting to you, then yes. But I think we both know these stories about ghosts taking over the living are just stories to scare the common folk. If it helps you, think of it as some kind of... temptation. One that's just waiting for the moment when I am too weak to contain it. Listen, Callie. Us, us in the business, we like to call that a uh, dark passenger. That's your dark passenger. All right, baby girl. It's all right. I figure. Listen, what happened in Old Dothelgrad? I never should have let it come to that. But that moment when he charged me, the blood on his sword, I just couldn't contain it. And when I gave in, when I hacked him into pieces, I simply felt so... thrilled. Complete. I was naive to believe it would never get that far again. Naive and stupid. But do you see now? This is the reason why I train so hard. Why I always try to control my emotions, no matter what people do or say to me. This creature inside me. It's always on the hunt. And the only way I can keep it at bay is by controlling both my body and spirit 100%. Just one moment of carelessness. That's all it takes. I mean, so you let go. I'm using fallout terminology now. Uh, you let her specifically frost. Uh, so you let go and you killed the bad guy. Like, I killed like 20 bad guys and you killed one bad guy so I mean yeah you did kind of go a little crazy pants a little overboard with you know hacking whacking and smacking them into you know tiny little giblets but uh, I mean as long as you're not destroying villages him so those uh, villagers could have been right after all did you destroy the village I see does the order know about this the magisters if you were to let it take over completely, what would happen? And why is there nothing you can do about this? No way to banish this. Uh, and is there nothing you can do about this? No way to banish the sponsor. Um, you know, does she have any idea what would happen if she let it completely take over? I don't know. And truth be told, I'm not sure I want to. I see. Does the does the order know about this? Only Master Tyrus, my foster father. He taught me how to contain it by controlling my thoughts. And he also advised me never to tell anyone about it, which I haven't until today. So yeah, that's kind of kind of how it goes. Is yeah. So to control your dark passenger, you need to have a code, and as long as you follow the code, 
um, again, this you know, like probably like one person that's getting the references I'm doing. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking about Dexter. I was a was a very very big fan of that show. Like literally into the last five minutes of the last episode, then I just wanted to punch myself in the face nine thousand times. Um, and why did you tell me? Hmm. So those are um. Uh, there's no way to banish it. No way that I know of, at least. Who should I ask? The apothecary? There are two ways that would go. Either they would ridicule me, or they would take me seriously and report my condition to the Order. Neither way helps me, and who knows what the Order would do if they found out. Especially as strained as the situation is right now. Maybe I can spank it out of you. Okay. Um, but, 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 I don't know if I want to say this. I don't know. I don't know if I want to say this. I don't want to upset her. Um, and why did you tell me? Because we're her, whatever that nickname she gave us is, that Solaria or something like that? And why did you tell uh, us? I don't know. Probably because I was afraid you'd tell someone else about what happened in Old Dothelgred and that that would raise suspicions. A coward's move, I know, but it was the best solution I could come up with. I'm sorry. I thought it was because you loved me. All right. Hmm. Now I feel less upset about saying this. I don't know, Saira. Believe me, I've asked myself that question more than a hundred times. And as much as I hate to admit it, yes, there's a chance it did. I'll never find out. Okay. Where, where do I go in conversation now? Uh, there's no, <coughs> um, was there another option? <laughs> I did, don't know. Where did it Pro go? A coward's move, I know, but there it is. It was the best solution I could come up with. But if I'm I, sorry, but if violence provokes this thing, that was weird that this option went away for some reason. If violence provokes this thing. Why are, are you with the military wing of the order? They should be like a, a monk praying or something like that. <laughs> well, what would be the alternative? Transcribe Pyrian books like the Magisters do all day? Yeah. Or drop out entirely and pour hot water for the upper city's noble women? Look, Saira, as you've already pointed out, there is a chance that this thing inside me is responsible for the massacre in the village. And if that's true, I definitely have a lot of repentance to do, don't you think? And even if it isn't, I want to change things, to make the world at least a little bit better. And yes, I do realize that this means a lot of hardship and hard work for me, but I'm not afraid of that. Do you know why? Because that's what's missing in this world. So many people just talk, 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 and never act, because that would mean that they'd have to actually endure something for what they believe in. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. It really, uh... I try, try not to talk about controversial topics, but that, that made me think of, uh... The, uh, Air Force officer. I'm blanking on his name. That, um... Just, uh... Self-emulated in front of the Israeli... Um, consulate or whatever in um, Washington D.C. That was sort of uh, his thought process was he felt like he had to do something and that's what he chose to do not saying that um I mean, it's 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 a very uh, complex subject, but I feel like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just what she said reminded me of that. That that's all. Um, you definitely don't lack determination. I like it and admirable attitude. Sorry if I offended you in any way. I'm just worried for you. That's all. Maybe you should tone down your emotions. Fanaticism uh, hardly does any good. All right, so we have a nice spectrum of options here. 
Um, I am worried about her. Yes, I know. I... Sorry, I shouldn't have gotten so emotional. I just wanted to clear this up. Anyway, the one thing I ask of you is to keep silent about what I've told you. It will never come to something like that again, I promise. I'd like some time by myself now, and thanks for listening. First of all, I don't believe you. That that's- oh, what's up, Bones? What's up? But yeah, seriously, what- what is- even the mouth is open, like... Uh, and what kind of ping pong, ding dong... Chang Wanger, Chang Wanger, what's that's not I wanted to say Wang Jangler. I don't know why I said Chang Wangler. I don't know what's happening in this. <laughs> Picture it's bothering me though. Um Okay. So I guess we'll go talk we're doing a lot of talking. We'll talk to the Archmage now. Oh, this is where we test out and practice I was like, wait, what's happening here? This is where we do our fire fire powers yeah I don't remember the layout <laughs> clearly I don't remember the layout of this place ah okay and she's going back to hacking whacking and smacking she's not, she's not doing very good and what are you doing what are what are you well you ain't got shoes on I mean, you are on a rug I guess all right Well, look at that. Is that some hanging moss? <laughs> Alright. The Magister and the Chronicum, right? Arcanus Ninja. Huh? Yeah, a lot of people don't want to talk to me. <coughs> What? What? You're Brother, gonna... what blessed? Listen, crab. Our things. Listen, crab, ah, right, Greetings. Okay, I suppose. This machine really is a science in itself. How's that? One day, Nate. Who's well, talking? One let day. alone the metal, it seems to be some kind of conjunction of Pyrean crystals and shadow steel. We have gathered the best blacksmiths in the country. Prophet. But recreating this stuff is incredibly complicated. And that's an understatement. Not to burst huh. into tears. Why don't we just use normal well, metal instead? Well, if it isn't, that doesn't work. This framework, it doesn't just hold the core of the machine in place. It also conducts energy. It's hard to describe, really. If it helps you, imagine it as some kind of uh, organism. Every element is part of the whole. At least, that's how Shaorim says it. The Entropist. Yes. Say what you want about him. But he does know what he's doing. Without him, we wouldn't be half as far by now. What? Well, it's good to hear he's such a valuable addition. It's not as if he, the Pegist, or her grumpy old pal didn't help Aranthiel's son massacre our brothers and sisters on Nerim. <sighs> what are you getting at? It's the Grand Master's will. And what? if I have to choose between working with those heretics or the cleansing, I know my choice. <sighs> yes, I know. It's just odd. This place what? is holy, and it wounds me to see those mages desecrated with every second word they say. Anyway, enough of the chit-chat. I have to get going. The novices are waiting for me. What? Of course. May your path always be even, brother. And yours. I mean, he's an arcanist, and I'm a mage. Like, that's... that's What? You're not that... Shut up, Crab Ragoon. Um, that's not that different. And I swear to God, this guy is the voice actor of... Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, hey. Of the... Uh, Hear me now, O oh, path of fighting citizens. <laughs> All right. Where? 
He's around the corner. So what's so spectacular about this? Oh, yes, To me, ma'am. our pal here looks like your average crypt corpse. Well, he isn't. Do you see this marking on his forehead? That's a symbol of the Ischian, one of the two priest castes who reigned over the Pyrian Empire like the Lightborn did over Vin. He was no high priest, but more than an acolyte. Let's just hope he participated in the manufacture of the Sigil Stone back in the Pyrian era. Well, hoping can't hurt. But look, we have company. Dalvarek, Archmagister, how's the situation? What? Walk blessed, Grandmaster. We're fine. Uh, everything is ready. So this is him? Yes. This is the Prophet. Hmm. Interesting. Truly interesting. I imagined you to be... different. I'm Lexiel Melchior, Archmagister of the Holy Order. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So, where do we start? Has the Grandmaster already informed you of the goal of this mission? We're supposed to somehow get a memory from this dead Pyrian because he knows the missing words for the ritual. Which, that's a crazy sentence. Correct. Now you're wondering how will this be possible. This is where the word of the dead comes into play. An old relic we'll need to find. The word of the dead? I thought that was a legend. No, it exists. And we also know where. Just so you understand, the word of the dead is an artifact that allows entering a deceased person's mind to relive his last memories as if they were your own. And you want to do just that with our frozen pal here. This is the grand plan, right? Right. You'll need to locate the word of the dead, teleport the Pyrian's body to you, and then enter his thoughts. And there you'll have to look for the words of the ritual. Okay. First of all, we're going to call the Pyrian Popsicle. Because, obviously. Uh, assuming I somehow get to these memories, what exactly do I need to look for? That sounds daring. Why does the ritual need words? I'm angry at words. There's too many of them. There's nothing on the top but a bucket and a mop and an illustrated book about words. It's birds, not words, but anyway. Um, the magic, I know, is rather silent. Uh, how am I supposed to find a way around his memory? I don't speak Pyrene. <laughs> I, uh, I like that one. It's funny. That's right, but the priest himself. <coughs> and according to the legend, this should allow you to understand. It's like a universal translator in Star Trek? Okay. Um... Well, we only lack the last words of this ritual. What you have to look for is an ornamental scroll, which looks just like the one on the drawing I'll give you in a moment. All you have to do is remember the glyphs and the scroll, then write them down once you're back in the waking world. Well, I hope you mean that th my character is scripted to remember them, because if you're <laughs> banking on me remembering, <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. Um, uh... Why does this ritual need words? True, but we're talking about a different form of magic. It works similarly to the Forbidden School of Entropy. That sounds... daring. <sighs> You're telling me. I myself feel like a migrant in a toad's pond. But alternatively, we'd have to excavate every ruin on Vin and hope that some priest left one of the scrolls behind. Excavating ruins sounds like fun. Well, this is... There's an old manor in Andral's West that belongs to an old collector of artifacts. We received a tip that the word of the dead is in his possession. Oh, the wood guy? Hang on. Are you talking about this odd fellow with the puppets? The aged man. The aged man from the folk song? I am. We've 100% been there already, even though we're not supposed to. So, we'll have to travel to his manor and somehow take the artifact from him? You won't take it. It will be enough to find it. Use it on the Pyrian, and then leave. You will travel to the manor with Dalvarek, wait for nightfall, and then introduce yourself to the aged man as a fellow collector of artifacts. Then you will offer him this brooch, and if all goes well, he will offer you a quarter for the night to negotiate in the morning. Then, it's all a matter of timing. Sneak out of your room, look for the word of the dead, and teleport the Pyrean to you. 
just sounds super complicated. <laughs> Why all the secrecy? Can't the order just force the aged man to give up the artifact? And what do we do if something goes wrong? Then you'll flee. There must be no violence, no matter what happens. No violence? Violence is kind of my thing. Don't you have somebody else who's suited a little bit more towards the no violence thing? <sighs> a good question, but no. The aged man is special, so to speak. Even the Lightborn ordered us to let him live in peace. The Black Guardian knows why. So, if we have to trick him, we will at least do it inconspicuously. Which is why you and the mercenary are well suited for the task. No one will connect your faces to the Holy Order. Okie dokie. And how exactly am I supposed to use this Word of the Dead on the Pyrian? Archmagister? Yes, well, that is a good point. We don't know, because we don't even know what the artifact looks like. But how goes the saying? The proof of the eating is in the pudding. We'll manage somehow. And even if we don't, it definitely sounds like an adventure. It's a great responsibility, be aware of that. But I have faith in both of you. Now get going as soon as you can. This mission will be fruitful. I can feel it. Well, I'm glad you can feel it. Whew. And there they go. Yeah, Spar, you have uh, beautiful eyes. Are they green? Are they blue? Are they both? Are they turquoise? I think they're turquoise. Uh, so shall, shall we? Shall, 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 shall? So shall we go? Yep. Just meet me at the Myrids Tower at the Western Cliff. I'll go grab my stuff now. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Let's get a look at this Pyrian. He looks like a dragger. What if I just hit it with electricity? No. I don't know. It's just an idea. Um, am I stuck back here now? Seriously? Your outfit's pretty fancy. You got anything else to say? Yes. Uh, you aren't in the relaying, are you? You got a slight accent. I like your monocle, sir. I do? Thought I had gotten rid of it by now. But yes, I'm originally from Nirim. Just like you, as I've heard. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, I don't know. Probably because I don't have very fond memories of my time there. You know, if someone would have told you 20 years ago that one day I would be the Arch Magister of the Holy Order, you'd have probably laughed in his face. <laughs> it's absurd just to think of it. You know, I was a slave there. Really? A slave? Yes. You see, I was born into a traveling group of Aeterna minstrels. I never got to know my father, though, and living that way was hard. So my mother eventually decided to burn all bridges behind us and start over. <sighs> Sorry, I'm, I'm babbling. I don't want to bother you with my boring stories. Burn all the bridges and dig up the witches. All right, um, I was the one who asked, you're not boring me, what happened to you and your mother after you went away? Well, after some days on the road, we met a traveling merchant who gave us a ride to the next village. A, a small one named Sildren in the Salathan Forest. I've been there! It seemed almost perfect at the beginning. The place was quiet, and my mother found herself a job as a weaver in the local Count's castle. One day, however, the Count simply stopped paying her. And, well, when she asked for the reason, he told her that we were his property from that moment on. What? Just like that. He just made you his slaves? Is that even possible? That sounds like some BS to me. Why wouldn't it be? We were just a woman and a young son, and he owned both the land and the local guard. We had to serve this Creo, that was the Count's name, for nine years. It was horrible. Is that... did I... did I... Did I kill Creo? <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I'm trying to remember. I swear that name's familiar. I think I might have killed him in the rim. Um, and no one came to help you? No. No one. We weren't the only slaves he kept, and the villagers were too afraid to do anything. 
As for Chancellor Baratheon's armies, well, I'd be surprised if they even knew Sildren existed. Sorry to hear that, so how did you manage to get away? Pure luck, I suppose. One day, an Endralean merchant and his escort passed through the village. They were on their way to Waverock to catch a ship from there. And just by coincidence, he saw me crushing some herbs I had found in the forest. That's what I did in the little spare time I had, you know. The Salathan forest is so incredibly rich with plants, you have no idea. There's a lot of mushrooms. What I didn't know was that I had found an entire sheaf of God's tongue. That impressed the merchant so much that he simply bought me. What about your mother? He left her there. Believe me, what he did had nothing to do with mercy. He just saw that there was money to be made off of me. I cried and protested, of course. But two months later, our ship arrived in Ark, where he got infected with flesh maggots and died <laughs> shortly thereafter. Luckily enough, he was a sublime. And since his relatives didn't know what to do with me once he was dead, they simply asked the order to grant me the novitiate, which they did. <laughs> By the left path, sounds crazy when I tell it like that. And it probably is. But back then, it just happened. Hmm, what of your mother? Did you ever find out what happened to her? I tried, but as you can imagine, my obligations made my options to do so very limited. Only recently, however, word reached me from a mercenary whom I sent over. According to him, Creo is dead, and his castle was deserted. But who knows if he just said that to appease me. I think when all of this is over, I might ask the Grandmaster for permission to travel there myself. And then, who knows? <laughs> By the righteous path, now I really am babbling. I am sure a man like you has better things to do than listen to the stories of a boring old chronicler. I should probably get back to business. Forgive me. Uh, how is the reconstruction of the beacon coming along? Uh, don't ask. Reconstructing the outer shell was challenging, particularly given the strange metal it is made of, but we found a way to do it. As for its inner workings and what these sockets are for, we are still lurking in the dark. This machine, it's, how should I say, different, otherworldly. Okay. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure I killed Creo. So you're welcome, by the way. Hmm? I don't know, Grandma Sparkles. You have a name. I always try to talk to people that have names, because I figure they have a name. So there might be stuff and things we can do. All right, let's go meet. What? You. Oh shh! Huh? What the? Mm, let's go find Yaspar. I have not started reading Dreams of the Dying yet. I ha Prophet? I have a lot of books. <laughs> I have a lot of books that I'm already. I I don't read one book at a time because that's I think what normal people do. Um. <laughs> I am currently reading just a quick guess. I think four or five different books. So I didn't like. I really want to start it, but I also want to finish some of the other ones that I'm currently in before I start it. Just because the more I the more I I, I get into, the harder it gets for me to actually finish anything. If that makes any sense, I don't know. That's why most people just read one book at a time, because then you can start it and finish it and be done. But, like, a lot of times I get something and I'm just so excited that, you know, I'll just jump into it and I'll read, you know, like, a third of the book. But then, uh, you know, I'll put it well, down. there comes a point when you just have to live with it. it. It's one of my favorite just generic uh, NPC barks. So then I'll go back and read something else that I started. Part of the reason, part of the problem is that I'm rereading uh, The Unabridged Stand uh, by Stephen King, which is like over 1,200 pages long. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm, I don't know, I'm like 300 or, four pages, 300 or 400 pages in it, which is like a book, <laughs> which is like, like longer than a lot of normal books. <sighs> As it is, like if it was a normal book, I'd be done already. But I'm not, 
anywhere even close. It's still like 800 more pages to go. One of the things I find really interesting about The Stand is if you are a fan of um, Fallout games as well as Skyrim games and you are familiar with my favorite, Fallout New Vegas. Greetings! Greetings! You again! Thanks again for your help. How's Wellwyn doing? He's... He's... Oh, I can rename the Mount World. He's right over here. So, I mean, I left him with you. Some shifts never end. So, Whirly's right here. Give him some pets, some brush. There you go. Okay. We gave Whirly some love. Where is it telling me to go now? Sometimes I, I just I just blindly follow the quest mar markers and it's they're confusing. All right, here we go. This makes a little bit more sense now. Monsieur, my dude, who are you? Hello. Oh, you're the. Didn't he say? By the my ride, but I guess not this my ride. Wait, what quest? Do I have the right quest on? Yes. So again, clearly not that my ride because wait, it has me going. <laughs> what is happening? It has me going back into the city. Yes, bar. You're confusing me. Of Erica, where am I going now? <laughs> this is so weird. Oh well. Come on, keep jumping. <sighs> hmm. Now where did <coughs> I put that? Who is that? You? Who said that? Is that you? Gundarl Supper Snack. <laughs> I think I talked to him before, but I don't remember. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you around here before. Uh, just take a look around and tell me if you see anything you like. All right, we 100% have encountered this voice actor before. Look at them choppers. Oh, hello. You I haven't that? seen you around here before. Uh, just take a look around and tell me if you see anything you like. I like your hat. Ow. Show me what you have in stock. Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free to take a look. Archaic vegan soup. Okay. Looks like chili. Is that chili? Is that your weird way of saying chili? That, that also looks like chili. That's the same stuff. You just call it different names. Liar. That's the same thing. <laughs> Alright. What blessed? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Alright. Anyway. <sighs> Hedor Fisher Broad. Alright, every time I ask them, they say Farewell. the same stuff. They say the same stuff, so. I'm not gonna bother to ask him uh, again for, for the first time, but to hear the same repeated dialogue. It drives me crazy in any game. So it's not a specifically ender all thing that annoys me, but uh, I do love those, like, and I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again, those just like casual conversations that seem to occur. That's why I always stop and listen to them where two NPCs walk up to each other and it's, it's I've not heard it repeated. Yes. It always seems like it's scripted, you know, for me to encounter these, these little conversations where like I feel like I'm getting lore from it. It's a, it's like a it's like a different way of getting lore from these little conversations. It's just not this same generic, you know, uh, NPC barks over and over and over again. Where are we going? Oh damn! All the way down here. Why did he want to? Why? Why not from here? 
Okay, whatever. We haven't been further down this road for a while. Moo. So the, this is so random. So the world champion of the wrestling company that I uh, currently watch and enjoy enjoy watching is named Samoa Joe. That's that's his name. For some bizarre reason, the announcer just recently, like since he's won the world title, has been saying his name in a peculiar way. It, it it basically sounds like he's saying Samu a Jew and I'm like why are we saying Samu are you live don't spit spitting is nasty no 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 I said no and no means no. Samuaju. And I'm like, what? What is happening? Why are you saying it like that? Hey, bunny. I'll give you some pets because apparently you're not scared of me. Seeing the bunny makes me think uh, we're, we're watching uh, a show. I think it's a Showtime show. Is that Paramount Plus called Yellow Jackets? It's like about a girls' soccer team that uh, the plane crashes, and then it looks like it kind of turns into Lord of the Flies, but with the girls' soccer team type of uh, you know that type of situation. Um. But then they end up... There's just a lot of nature going on here. And the bear is totally chill. But then they end up getting... Rescued. So it does, like, flashbacks to when they were kids. <coughs> on the island. Or where they, where they crashed. And then... Excuse you. And then flashes, you know. Oh, excuse me, I didn't even see you. To them being, to them being adults, and uh, you know, trying to live their lives with dealing with you know the weirdness of the things that they did on the island. Wait, wait. In the, the last episode, we were only on the second episode, so I'm not passing judgment on the show yet because I haven't watched enough of it to really have formed an opinion. It's interesting so far to me. The wife was uh, less interested after the first episode, but I think the second episode got her more into it. Um, one of the characters is supposed to be making uh, dinner for her husband, like a chuck roast or something, and, but instead decides to go outside with a cleaver, take out a rabbit, and uh, they totally show her like um, completely cleaning and skinning and breaking the rabbit down, I, I guess, for dinner. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't... How did I not... I was like, well, where is he? Boop. Are you hiding? Are you hiding? With your beautiful blue eyes? Are we close enough? Ah, there you are. Ready to go? Your mouth didn't move when you were talking. That was weird. What's the story of your scars? That scar of yours, uh... You got around... Uh, quite a bit before you came back here, didn't you? What? What are your thoughts on the current events? <laughs> uh, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I did. Why do you ask? Because I'm jealous. What made you come back then, Doral? What's it like to live as a traveling mercenary? I figure it must be quite hard. What countries have you been to? Now, aren't you inquisitive? Let me think. I spent most of my time abroad in Kira, and also a couple of years on the Isles of Kile. Uh, and there was this mission that led me to Maiar Aranath once. T 
Tell me something about Kira. <laughs> what am I, a traveling tome? I'm afraid I'm not a very good storyteller. But uh, Kira's great. The people there are so much freer in their way of thinking. There are the great bazaars, uh, the palaces of the merchant lords, and the fortress of the mages circles. Uh, but you just have to see it for yourself someday. Will you take me? What was it like in Calais? Oof. Different. As beautiful as the Isles are, there's always this feeling of rush and competition. Have you ever heard of the game, Penny? On Calais, it's not a crime if a merchant tries to cheat a customer. It's the customer's fault if he doesn't see the fraud. But if he does, the merchant owes him a token penny. Yeah. <laughs> Bizarre, one. isn't it? But over there, it's common practice. Yeah, we 100% encountered that with the with the spice merchant in Ark. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, what made you come back to Enderal? You've been to Myra Aranath? Isn't that land deserted? Yeah, it is. I was there with a group of mercenaries. We were hired to get something from a tower in the old capital. Not a nice spot of earth, truly. There's this fog everywhere, and with every step you take, you have to be careful the swamps don't get the better of you. But of course, that's also what makes it exciting. The fire swamps? Do you have to watch out for rodents of unusual size? Okay, uh... <laughs> well, I guess that depends on where you're standing. Of course, times can be tough, especially if you come to a new city or even country where you know nobody. But if you're good at what you do, which I am, there's always work everywhere. And yeah, I don't eat God's tongue for breakfast, but it was always enough for a roof over my head when I wanted, and some other earthly pleasures. And that's what life's all about, isn't it? Sure, so what made you come back to Enderal? That's a good question. I suppose in the end, it was just a hunch I had. Plus, all these civil wars in other countries didn't exactly invite one to stay. Okay. So... Now, aren't you inquisitive? Let me think. I spent most of my time abroad in Kira, and also a couple of years on the Isles of Kilei. Uh, and there was this mission that led me to Maiar Aranath once. Keep your chin up. Okay, what what are we doing here now, though? Ah, there you are. Ready to go? All right, he was doing that thing where it wasn't giving me the dialogue again. Uh, what's the story b behind that scar of yours? <laughs> the scar? Well, let's put it this way. If you one day end up in a Talgalean tavern and two six-foot-tall Arazalean women invite you into their room, you should either damn well know who they are or make a run for it. <laughs> Knowledge? Targul? Never heard of it? It's the capital of Araziel. At least if you ask the civilized people. Let me guess, you did neither. Hands up. Guilty. Some rich snob had hired me back then to bring him a totem from one of the camps of the free people. That is, the Arazelians who worship their ancestors' gods. Instead of the Lightborn and live as nomads. No idea how much you know about Araziel, but the free people have been in conflict with the civilized people, who do worship the Lightborn for centuries now. Assassinations, blood feuds, and so on. The usual, if two sides both believe they know it all better. Anyway, obviously this job of mine originated from that feud. The totem belonged to a free tribe, and the snob wanted it in order to publicly defile it. So I got it for him. Wait, what? And you didn't feel remorse? Oh, why, of course. I still cried myself to sleep months after that. <laughs> Seriously, why should I? Both the free and civilized are so eager to bash each other's heads in, it's not like one defiled totem more or less would have made any difference. And I guess those two Arizalian women were of the free people? <sighs> Correct. And I... I was a little drunk and a little lonely, if you get what I mean. Have you ever seen a pure-blooded Arazalean woman in her 20s? It's really hard to say no to that. <laughs> in any case, as you already noticed, the whole thing went down differently than expected. My face made acquaintances with a table leg and four absolutely untender women's feet and hands. And of course, the totem was gone, together with all my clothing and money. 
I guess I had that coming somehow. That's what happens if you ask your loins rather than your head in the wrong situations. <laughs> I, I I hear you, Jasper. My loins are always getting me in trouble. All right, they took your clothing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs> Mind if I think this is funny? Uh, getting drunk on a mission, not very refreshed. Sorry, I'm going to say mind if I think this is funny. Oh, whoa, such a cold world this is. I present you my deepest scars. You thank me with naught but mockery. Be damned, oh impish creature. But anyway, how does the saying go? A truly beautiful face can never be tarnished. Nothing more attractive than a modest man. Good to see it hasn't cost your modesty, uh, if you say so. <laughs> and that's why you enjoy working with me. What are your thoughts on the current events? How do you feel about the weather, Yaspar? <laughs> what? You mean the living dead, the wateers everywhere, the frenzied civilians? I'd say this country's seen better times, but at least something happens. It makes this place less boring. So it's not the Vatiers, it's the Watiers? It makes a W sound? Damn it. All right. Yeah, let's go. Wonderful. Here, <laughs> this is the place where the aged man's manor is supposed to be. Lead on. I'll follow you. Hey, what? All right, so we're just... We're just walking. It looks like there should definitely be something up that way as well. Alright. And we're... What? What? What was that? What? Why did that deer run right at me? Who made that noise? Bees. Oh, it's empty, damn it. Where's the road? Oh, there's a bear over there. What's up, bear? <laughs> yes, Bar, you didn't do anything. Why are you exhaling? I killed the bear. Where is the road that we're supposed to be taking? I can't. I don't see... I feel like we're on the side of a mountain or something. It's like... Where? Seriously, where... Where, where is this road? You go to explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. I'm... I'm dude, I'm just trying to find the road? We could do some sexy, sexy mining. Where is this road? Ah, there you are. Let's push on. Okay. I mean, that's going the wrong way. It implies that the road... Oh, so confused. Seriously. How? I'm confused. All right. That's that's how you run and fall out, not how you run here. So is there a way to is this it? I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. I think I got it now. Sorry about that. I hear another bear. Yes, bar, where did you find a bear? Hopefully, Aspar is still essential.
because if he's not, that's going to be annoying. Alright, so if you've been watching the series, you know that I've been here before and, of course, it has to start raining. Um, that I figured out a way... Yes, bar. Maybe, maybe don't jump in front of the dude with the electricity hands, man. All right, again. How have I lost the road again? Seriously. <laughs> what? Where did it go? Like, we're fine until here. I don't know. I'm just gonna head this general direction, I, I guess. There's, there's, no, there's clearly not a road anymore. There you go. Yes, Bart, did you see where to... There it is. So yeah, we, we had found this place and I was not... I was not supposed to be able to get in here, but I hip-hopped my way into this dude's house. Now we got spiders. Yes, Bart, determined to run, and then I and then I almost killed him. I warned you, dude. Now you're pushing me. I don't like being pushed. Yeah, because we got these whole. So these are the puppets the bards have been singing about. Huh. Interesting to see what some people consider art. So, since I just finished playing Whispering Hills and the mannequins were constantly coming alive trying to kill me, I have concerns about wooden mannequins now. But yeah, we came across this house and, uh, you know, big fence and yada yada yada. And it doesn't look like you're, you're, you're able to get in, but I hopped all all around the back of it up the mountain and I was able to hop over the fence and get in so this is where he lives huh this aged man definitely knows how to make himself comfortable I guess now it's time to wait for nightfall we wouldn't want this guy to take the artifact to pay for it and have us leave right away okie dokie <sighs> all right I think that's enough. Now let's see how we can get in there. These busts look interesting. Alright, what we got? Touch the falcon head. Touch the falcon head. That's a doorbell? Nothing happened. Oh. My sir? Yes? What do you want? Walk blessed, my sir. Are you the... I'm the servant, so no, I'm not. And if you're looking for charity, you've come to the wrong place. We aren't beggars, we're merchants, and we were told your master is some kind of collector. We think that we have something that might interest him. Do you now? So what could two traveling merchants dressed in rags whoa. have that might be of interest to my master? Whoa, whoa, brother. Do you see my fancy outfit? Do you, my outfit is more fancy than yours, my friend. Show Tilar Anthony necklace this. Bam! What up now? Hmm. 
This is the silver brooch of a seraph. Where did you get this? That's unimportant. What matters is that I intend to sell it. Sure. Uh-huh. Well then, this changes the situation. You may enter. Plus, forgive my harshness. I misjudged you. And then we kill him. Unfortunately, <laughs> Master Gages is currently playing music and will be at least until dawn. But you can make yourself comfortable in the guest room. He will see to you in the morning. Okay, that sounds good. Today we wouldn't have made it back to Ark anyway. Just try to get a Myrid Warden to fly in this weather. Hmm. Ah, so, so the, the rain was scripted. Nice house you've got here. So it's just you and your master who live here, right? People talk about him a lot. Please, let's just save the small talk. You're here for business. I'm afraid I'm going to screw this up, by the way. I don't know if I can. Ooh, I love it when their hair disappears. Uh, so I'm going to drop a save here, I guess. Just in case. If we do it wrong, we try to do it again. There was like a lot of steps. Good. Now follow me upstairs. I'll show you to your quarters. As I said already, Master Gages will play through the night. My apologies if his music keeps you awake, but if you want a piece of advice, listen. You won't hear anything comparable in all of Vin. Well then we'll do just that. So I take it your master's an artist, right? I saw the puppets. They're interesting. Interesting. Yes, that they are. Master Gages always says art is unique because it allows us to see what our mind doesn't want us to see. What's that supposed to mean? Well, we all have demons inside of us, don't you agree, Miser Dalvaric? Memories, truths about ourselves we've locked away somewhere in our unconscious because we don't want to confront them. True art surpasses all these barriers because it reminds us of who we truly are. Hmm. Interesting thought. All right, here we are. Make yourselves at home. I will inform you once the Master is ready to see you. Uh, by the way, call it intuition or premonition, but I somehow had the feeling we would have company tonight, and took the liberty of preparing a small meal. I'm afraid the meat is a little charred, but it should taste good. Now, please excuse me, I have to rest. It is late, and the day has been exhausting. Of course. Sleep well. And thanks for your hospitality. You're welcome. Okay, how did he know Yaspar was Yaspar's name? I can't move. Now I can. And there he goes. Call me paranoid, but this all went a little too smooth for my liking. You're right, there was something off about that guy. Yeah. For example, the fact that he was already standing near the gate when you rang. And that he lives with a man who's older than the Black Guardian, at least according to the legends. But, well, to each his own. So what do we do now? Wait? Yeah, one or two hours at least, until this servant's asleep. I've got a skin of wine with me, so if you want we could enjoy it in the meantime. I wouldn't touch this food if I were you. You could tell me about this trial while we're waiting. Or about anything, just distract me from those damn ugly puppets over there. Hmm. Interesting thought. The thing about the last moment that lasts forever. 
Did you know that Kyrian mentalists are apparently able to sort of become aware in their dreams? And apparently, in a dream, one can exist free from time. There's a story about an arcanist who spent 1,000 years in a dream while he only slept eight hours in his waking life. But, well, that's a topic on its own. I think it's late enough for our little excursion now. Let's find that relic. <coughs> there it is. <clears throat> Master Gaius's music that transcends all barriers. Sorry about mm. that. As jolly as this place. Yeah, I robbed this place <laughs> when I visited previously. And I can't eat the food anyway. I mean, it looks... Fancy? Interact with the stone plate. Harvest. Okay. Reaching for salvation. Okay. I have expected the door to be locked. We have to find this artifact. Maybe he's hiding it in some kind of chest or a secret chamber. Let's look around. They will burn. Ah! That's why you're very close to me. Okay, I should have plenty of scrolls. I have 11. Oh, I wish I knew how to do that. Wrong, wrong hands. Wrong hand. Oops a daisy. I'm almost positive I had already opened that lock too. Empty. Now I didn't accidentally already take the thing that we're looking for when I was here previously, did I? <laughs> he closed the aspirator. <sighs> Where do you? Oh, they will burn again. Okay, we got multiple they will burns. More they will burns. This one requires a key. This one requires a key. Moss, my favorite. Oh no, I sat. Sorry, I was. I, I had to take a rest. Yes, bar. Apparently, take a shot. I sat when I was trying to harvest tangy moss. Hmm, that looks like some kind of study. Maybe we could find something here. Depth lock chest. More dreams. Okay. Hell yeah, I'm taking nice claw. I mean, if it's not stealing. Oh. Uh. Pride of the. Z uh. Arizalian. What? What just happened? Hmm. Maybe we should take a look at these bookshelves. They look kind of weird. Okay, something... Something happened. Okay, there's multiple books. What was the secret of the Pyrians? Alright, well, first of all, let's open up this. Oh, that was so close. Nope, went the wrong way. 
No. Booyah. Ooh, turtle, to turtle, to what? What am I saying? Two learning points. All right. Okay. Um. So there's one, two. Let's close the door. Three. Now I get it. These books must be part of some kind of mechanism. Have you tried, I don't know, pulling on them or something like that? I have. The crystal jellyfish, its physique and use in alchemy. Okay. I believe I've clicked on all the books now. But if there's a specific order that they need to be clicked on, then I'm not sure. Read the letter, okay. My dear friend, it is such a delight to hear from you again. I don't wish to lie to you, but my hopes are limited. At first, the chance that the chances, the changes in the room seem so promising, but now everything is back at its old pace. I am concerned for you too, dear friend. I value you as a man of strong character, but your last letter kept me worrying. Don't forget what led to my ruin back then. Pride was my fall. Don't let my mistake be the same as yours. And brotherly love, Gygis. Okay. That didn't really help me. I thought maybe it was... I mean, the only thing that's left is to pull this. That sounds good. I... Hey! Shenanigans. Did it just turn off God mode? I think it just turned off God mode. We encountered that once before. Where all of a sudden out of nowhere God mode was off. Yeah. That is so weird that it does that. Yes, Bar, save me. I fell in the hole. To the age man's what now? Sanctum? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't trust that. Heard a sound as if something clicked in the place. Interact with woman in the water. You feel a particular tickling in your stomach as you look at the figure floating in the scrubs. It seems conscious. Oh, that looks like um the night mother. For the uh, Dark Brotherhood. Hello? Gages, why did you wake me? Are we there yet? Uh, 
uh, gauges? I'm, I'm not gauges. Uh, 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 oh boy. I mean, uh, I won't lie to her, I guess. Oh, darling, never too old for a jest, are you? I. I'm sorry you have to go through all this, really. All this time, I... I can hardly imagine how hard that must be for you. But I still believe in our dream. I still do. Uh... Okay... Can't talk to her anymore. So, I guess I gotta hit the button. Alright. Nope. Okay, I have to be in the circle when I hit the button, I guess. Dang it. The platform underneath you seems to be loose and to be swinging. What do you want to do? Well, I mean, I don't have any other choice to push the button. This is very interesting. Going down, down, down. Movie monster. Ooh, more hanging. No, not hanging monster. Alright, we're going to be apparently interacting with the movie monster. Um. Okay. Uh. Word of that, this has to be it. Does it? Does it have to be? Okay, so I have I have a spell I'm supposed to be using. Where where is this special spell? Oh, I have a taxia. I didn't know I had a taxia. Or did I know that? I don't I don't know what the spell is. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Um bu -bu 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 -bu. what spell am I using? Conjure py Pyrian, that makes sense. Okay. So it said to use the spell. Aaron Theo's plan worked when we showed this old brooch to the Age Man servant. He let us in and led us to a room in which we are supposed to rest until sunrise. Now we have to act fast. We have to find the word of the dead, teleport to Pyrian with Muriel's. I don't remember if that's how you say his name. Spell to us, then somehow try to get into his memories. And all of that without waking the servant. Okay. Um. And God, and God mode is off again. <laughs> what is happening? Stop turning God mode off. Um, I I don't know. Do I just cast it at the boob? I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid the boobs also, because YouTube can be kind of weird sometimes with boobs. That's not the right spell. God damn it. Okay. Um. You feel a tingling sensation as your hands get closer to the box. Open the box. Yeah, we're opening Pandora's box here. Oh no. Okay, something's happening. Okay. Alright, 
right, well, we're in third person, which that's not going to work for me. And let's put our spell back just in case we have to fight here. I guess we're in the dream world now. Okay. Um. The Pyrian, I am in his memories. Alright, so now we're openly narrating to ourselves. Are we gonna get a nice piece of crispy meat? I mean, I guess running off into the woods or whatever doesn't make any sense. I'll still take a broom. I'm assuming that we're just gonna go into the house. Open up, it's the police! Who? By the highest being! You! I thought you were dead! Apparently I am. Jakal. He... He betrayed us. They're all dead. What? Yes. But it doesn't matter. We have to get away from here. His armies, they're everywhere. And they're killing everyone. What about Lilanya? Is she alright? Yes. Yes, she's asleep. But where do you want to go? We're... <sighs> Come on. Get inside. We'll talk about it there. Our brother. He's here too. He arrived last night. Kumar? I thought he was up north. He was, yes. But he rode back when he heard about the siege. He wants to help defend the city. He will be angry when he finds out that you fled, you know? Staying would have been suicide. He would understand. Hmm. I'm not really in control. So, I don't know why I'm facing the wall right now. Seriously, I, uh... Kuma, our... I see it. Why are you here? The Treasure Master betrayed us, and Jakal's troops have gone crazy. They're massacring their entire city. They said we... I know that, but you didn't answer my question. Why are you here? Where else should I be, dammit? The High Ones won. They won, and this accursed cleansing will happen, whatever it is. But if there's only the slightest chance that we can make it through, I will use it. Unlike you, I do have someone I need to take care of. Let's hope she doesn't take after her father. Your cowardice disgusts me, brother. You never understood what it meant to be an Aishin. Screw you, bro. I knew that would happen. He's such a bulldog. For him, there's nothing but his goddamn honor. At least since he lost Yalek, yes. He won't let us flee. You do realize that, right? He will force you to keep your oath. To stay and fight. To the death. I will talk to him. We'll do this, sister. Somehow. Yes, of course we will. There's still some stew. I will prepare a bowl for you, alright? You go and look after the little one. I think she is slowly beginning to understand what's happening here. The ritual, I have to search for that scroll. Search the memories of Pyrene for the glyph scroll. Okay, so it's good to know that even in this other history or whatever that there's, uh, that there's still, um, that there's still stew. Because it would be really bummer if there wasn't stew. I'd be super upset. I mean, we're looking for a scroll, so... Might as well. Oh, sausages? Oh, they're empty. Damn! We eat all the sausages. I'm looking for a scroll. Where is the scroll? Can I have the scroll, please? 
That's not a scroll, that's a quill. Can I have some honey? Heck yeah. Taking all your glasses. They still, they still have the king's mead. Your hand moves through the object as you try to grasp it. Really? Why would that be the case? But I can grab all this other stuff? That's so weird. But not the helmet. Okay. Flower still thing. Can't grab that either. Ooh, it requires a key. Alright, now I can't pick stuff up. It's so random. I can pick, <laughs> pick up some things, but not other things. I don't know why. This is my daughter. Yeah, that's my daughter. Um, okay. Alright, he's just praying over there. Can I shoot him with a bow and arrow? Can't take the bucket. Ooh, the key! Got the key. Got the key. Can I put the pot on his head? To the poop bucket? What if I just go like this? Ha 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 ha! can't stop me oh my god it is it is the elder scroll that's it I have to memorize the glyphs Kuma what where are you going go and get Peric we're leaving leaving but you heard him the city is lost Well, isn't that good timing? I have been thinking, and I have decided that I will not let my only brother die as a deserter. We will ride to the city at first light and help with the defense. That's not going to happen. I told you that. Zura and I will take Lelanya and flee to the north. Come with us or don't, but you will not get in our way. Period. Period. Thank the highest being that we're family, Perry. Just thank the highest. Ah! Kill them! Kill them all! Uh-oh. Oh, by the name of the sun! Do something, Peric! Keep them out of here! Where are the other enemies? You and your cult have oppressed this world long enough. Where? Where is he? Where? The <sighs> deal. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Prophet's ass. Someone's out there. Okay, just keep, just keep running at me. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, shit. You'll fucking burn for this, I swear. More of them. So I'm trying to protect my family. Something's out there. And they're just gonna keep coming until I can't fight them off. You. <laughs> 
picked the wrong enemy, my friend. Did I? Oh, you guys are up there. <laughs> One, one enemy left. Where? All right, these archers are annoying. How many more now? Did I win? I don't think I'm supposed to win. What? Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I'm... <laughs> Do you really think you can stop us? For every one of us you kill, a dozen more will come. No, please. I don't want any of this. No one wants any of this. Just let us go. I have a daughter. I... Bummer. I tried. I mean, it's scripted to lose, so nothing I could, <laughs> nothing I could do about it. As much as I hate it. So, I hope you slept well. What? How did I get here? Well, what do you think? I brought you here. After you broke into my sanctum and made your little journey into the realm of the dead. <coughs> oh, please, don't look at me like that. I knew what you were up to from the start. Sadly enough, I did. You knew of our plan? I don't understand. The, he, first of all, he's Gaijus. Not the servant. And second of all, yeah, I mean, he said... He said Jasper's last name. No, you don't. Because you don't dare to question. A peculiar situation, all of this, isn't it? Suddenly you, the fugitive urchin, become mankind's salvation. And suddenly, just like that, out of nowhere, you can perform feats others would require decades to master. Even better, you're one of the emissaries who can hear the echo of the future. But still, you never asked yourself why. Why? I I think I know why. I I do. I mean, I've been trying not to think about it too much, honestly, because I have a very bad tendency of figuring most things out if I think about them. You know, like watching a movie or stuff. Like I almost always know what's going to happen. Uh, my wife hates it because she doesn't. <laughs> So she's always really annoyed when I know it's you know gonna where it's gonna go. So I'm dying, uh, and this is a dream. As I'm dying, I might not be completely right, but this is my current theory. So that's that's why I'm like the hero of the story because you're always the hero in your story in your dreams, right? So. We were doing like a lot of self-reflection and you know uh, things like that as as we're as we're going through this uh, the throes of death per se. Uh, anyway, well, at least you seem to know the answers. You're right, I do. But if there's one thing time has taught me, there are things one has to realize for him or herself. You can't force insight on people. It has never worked, and it never will. How do you know about all this? Who are you really? He's Gaijus. Who am I? Hm. Back then, I might have given you an impressive response to that. 
But at this time, I couldn't say anything that would help you. Let's just say I'm an observer. A fleshless eye, if you prefer. In this era, you might also know me as the Aged Man. According to the legends, the Aged Man is centuries old. You don't look that. Save your or ocular BS for someone else and tell me what's going on, or I'll have to force you. A little less of riddles, I might actually. Uh, a little less of the riddles, and I might actually be able to follow you. And what do you observe? The cycle. Amongst other things, yes, the cycle. I mean, I'm going to say this. It's, it's dumb, but I'm going to say yes. it. Yes. And I'm certain that irritates you. But timelessness isn't that much of a feat. You will find that out yourself soon enough, too. I mean, they literally just told us... Yaspar yeah, just told us the story about the guy who... dreamed a thousand years and eight hours of sleep. So... Yeah. Um, I mean, how am I going to force him? He's, this is, if this is all in my mind, I can't, like, I mean, yeah, I could force it because it's in my mind, but it doesn't. All right, anyway. Believe me, all I say is quite thought through. But unfortunately... There's no point in pursuing this conversation any further. You have what you came for, and the rest is up to you. Even though I doubt it will make much of a difference. What's that supposed to mean? That we can't stop the cycle? The cleansing? No, you can't. Because everybody dies. Maybe you could do just that. But time will tell. Now, forgive me. He just, he just, he just teleported me away. He's also the voice of the really nasty merchant. And I'm also, uh, almost, yeah, he just, he just teleported me outside. I'm also pretty sure that God Mode is off yet again because I took damage at some point in time. But on the bright side, I didn't die. And I guess the question is, do I have a healing spell? Or do I have... I have to have a healing spell of some sort, right? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I don't know where it would be. Increase your health. I don't want to increase my health. I just want to heal myself. Increase his health. Can I just... Here, flash heal. Whatever. Did what just happen? Wait, wait. I don't even know what the other spell was that I just had a. Oh! Okay, so wait, as I... <laughs> hold on, as I heal? Yeah, reading is fundamental. Okay. That's that's fine. That's fine. My arcane fever is still... super low. So I'm not gonna stress about that. Yeah, let's put our actual magic back on. And it looks like Gaspar is just gonna be right up ahead. Like that... The whole wait, the whole house is gone? Where did the Where did the whole house go? I never even talked to the little girl. Was I I was if I, if I was supposed to talk to the little girl, I I messed that part up. You taking a poo poo? What you doing, Yaspar? You but what the heck was that? Where's the manor? Bro, I'm just as confused as you are. Uh, <laughs> that's hard to explain. Tell Yaspar about the conversation with the aged man. Try me. Any explanation's better than none. Hmm. 
Uh-huh. That sounds strange, to say the least. After you went down that shaft, someone locked the door to the study, and I couldn't get it open, no matter what I tried. Well, a couple hours later, I found myself face down in a puddle of mud. But anyway, these glyphs you drew on paper look good to me. So at least officially, this mission was a success. I only wish I... Hang on. You see that? What? 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 Hmm. What's that? A casket? But where's this noise coming from? Yes, yeah, Sparrow, this is the word of the dead. It is where? This is it? But then the aged man left it on purpose. For us. Whew. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but it seems to me as if this fellow knew a lot more than we did from the start. Still, we should take this thing with us. Let's go back to Ark and report to the Grand Master. I've got a scroll right here with me. What do you say? Uh, 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 go on, go on ahead. I want to take a look around. Well then, see you back at the temple. Because I didn't... I didn't see whatever he saw. Where did he see... A casket. I didn't see a casket. I'm guessing he took it. Because I didn't see it. Seriously, where... <laughs> where was there a casket? Is it in the well? Hello? Yeah, I totally didn't see it. Like, at all. So I'm... I am confused about that. But okay. That's not how you run. So what's the glowy slam jammy over here in the corner? Alright, we got flowers. A little shrine of some sort. Um, okay. So I guess the question is, is if this is all just a dream, and I'm dying, then is Jaspar somebody I knew in life? A friend? More than a friend? Or is he some sort of spirit or... <coughs> excuse me something that's just kind of uh, accompanying me on this on this journey all right yeah I, I guess he got it because I don't I didn't see I didn't see it so let's check and see what it says here Muriel's plan worked. The word of dead actually showed me, allowed me to relive the memories of the frozen Pyrian. Apparently, the Pyrian was an Ishian called Peric, who tried to save his family from the Civil War, which was started by General Jackal. But before he could bring his sister and daughter to safety, Jackal's army attacked the farm and killed Peric. Also, I got to know more of the entities which I met in my dream after the trial who are responsible for the cleansing of the cycle have a name, the High Ones. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I might as well... This is where we camped. I guess this might as well just do like he did and just... Fast travel back. Excuse me. 
use the teleport scroll to go back. Be cool like him. Oh. And away we go. Alright, I mean that was pretty that was pretty cool, it was pretty interesting. I don't know if I should have finished exploring the aged man's place before uh, we actually went where we were supposed to be going. So I you know I don't know if I missed anything. Well, we always go too just have to live with it. We always go too easy on the scum. <clears throat> My sir. So I guess we'll wrap this episode up. This has been... I, I didn't even know the word I want to use. I, I, there's something about when I play this. It's it's special. I, uh, I'm really... Greetings! Really enjoying playing this more than I can properly articulate. Uh, while I'm playing it, other than getting our ears blasted by the water, run, <coughs> Mister. It's always such a pleasure to play this. Like one of the reasons why I expanded the episodes is because I, you know, honestly, like playing Enderall and some of these other ones. Like I don't want to stop playing. And, uh, you know, an hour always felt way too short. And sometimes even two hours is too short, but I went almost three hours on the last episode of Killer Frost, which is just Frost. It, it is just Frost. <laughs> what I'm playing is Killer Frost. Um, and it was. The file was 120 gigabytes. It took... <laughs> it took so long to upload. I started it early because I almost pooped myself when I saw how big the file was. And I was like, oh no, that's way too big. So yeah, I started it super early because I was nervous that it was going to give me problems. Here we are. I suggest you go inside and tell the Grand Master what happened. Then give him the casket. I'll go grab my pay now, and then I'll head back to the tavern. I guess I need a good pipe. For some reason, I can't get these puppets out of my head. They remind me of something. Though I don't know what exactly. Anyway, see you around. Do I have the casket? I'm super concerned now. Because I, di I didn't, I didn't pick it up. Because I didn't see it. I have a basket that rhymes a casket. Seriously, I hope it just put it in my inventory. Because I didn't, I didn't see it. I know where it would be miscellaneous or other. Oh boy. I mean, I looked. I mean, I have that. Rut row. I don't know if it's dark or because I'm blind. Is it in the book section? Because it was a book. No, sir. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Okay, let's go see what happens. It's like, yeah, there's, there was the book, but it, it's Jasper said it was there, and but I didn't, I couldn't see it. And so I didn't pick it up because I, I oh wait, what is this again? We have to go up and around. <coughs> the fabled prodigy. I hope you can live up to what they say about you. Nah, I can't. I really Sorry. Can. But yeah, uh, the oh, 120 gigabyte file is way too big. So two hours. Two hours is is about uh, as long as I should go. Prophet, were you successful? Yes, but things went a little differently than expected. Then tell me. So he knew about the cycle. That's disquieting and interesting. I agree. Plus, he left the word of the dead for us voluntarily, but I didn't pick it up because I don't know where it is. Yes, maybe that's an attempt to help us. He's not against us, because if he were, he wouldn't have let you out alive. Still, he knew a lot more than he was willing to tell. Mm. I bet that the Lightborn also knew more about the aged man than they told us. This explains why Malfas told the Order specifically not to bother him. But we will discuss his identity another time. What matters is that you were able to find the missing glyphs and that we now have this relic, however useful it will be in the future. Bring both of them to the Archmagister so that we can activate the Sigil Stone. Oh, and one more thing. What did the Pyrenees in your memory call those behind the cleansing? The High Ones? Yeah, you know, the High Ones like, you know, Cheech and Chong and Snoop Dogg. Uh, yes, uh, they must be who we saw in the dream, the ones behind the cycle. Good. Then the enemy has a name now. Come back to me once you've <coughs> talked to Marajil. There has been another disquieting development. Another one? Okay. I just want to make sure that I actually... What's up? Huh? Alright, nothing. Keep your chin up. Nothing new to say. I just want to make sure I didn't screw up picking up the, the word of the dead because... There was... I didn't see it. <laughs> I feel stupid. <laughs> And if it said it put it in my inventory, I just, I missed it. It's very possible it said it. Wait, where am I? Where am I going? How am I going? What's up, girl? Um... I believe I'm trying to go up upstairs ag again. No. Yes. I'm lost again. All right, here's up. Jarem Dorba Nubis, Lokorem Tares. Blasted blistering blazes. You sound like a boozed up poet. This is supposed to be magic. Entropy is a dangerous school, my sir. One false word and the stone could burst into flames. Well, keep up this babble and he might do it on purpose. You godlams are just <laughs> missing the pepper, even when you're doing magic. Pepper? Magic needs to our prudence, not pepper. She's like a sick frog. If you... Prophet, you're back. No, please. Son be praised. Working with these fumblers is harder than teaching complex mathematics to a Leo. 
The Scrounger already told me about your success. Good work. I, w I wanted to hear more about this sick frog. Okay. You got the glyphs. Yes, here they are. But the aged man. Yes, yes, yes. Just show me already. <sighs> ah, yes. That does make sense. Step back. I'll show you how this works. Jarem Doba Nubis, Lokarem Taris Danida, Sharak Lishamra. Oh, snap. He just broke it. By the righteous path. Are you feeling this? Yes, this is impressive. Tr truly impressive. Are those the shards? They're certainly not your underpants, are they? <laughs> According to the Piraean writings, these shards offered protection against the Red Madness, as long as the Sigil Stone remains active. Prophet, you're the one who found the missing glyphs, so you should go first. Go on, touch one of the shards. Okay. What's up, uh, Usland? How you doing, man? This person is busy. No, he's not. He's just standing there. Uh, can I have this? No, that's stealing. Um, can I have this? Uh, shard of scissor stone added so, to the spell book. How do you feel? Different, somehow clearer. Very well. Then let's hope that this sigil stone lives up to its promise. Boy, go and tell the quartermaster that every keeper, as well as each one of us, is to be wearing one of these fragments by nightfall. Boy! Buzz off. My sir, I really don't think this... <sighs> Do what he says, Legion. <laughs> <sighs> See you, Legion. That is not how you will make friends here, Firespark. Not at all. If it were friends I was looking for, I certainly wouldn't be here. Once again, good work. Old Aranthiel asked me to give you that, so you could buy better equipment. Now go back to him. Something disquieting has happened. Okay, but what about the word? Yeah, this just doesn't make any sense. Why can't it ever be easy? What? What? What about? <sighs> That's beyond me. Hello. Okay. So nothing new. Yes. Yes, that oh, just yeah. might work. I thought oh, hey. The city. No, the Archmagister ordered me back. Yeah, it feels good to be here, to be right. honest. Nobody has yes. anything new to you say. Know. Now, if it I isn't the prodigy, I don't well... Okay. I still can't now? believe that really not happened. to burst into tears. Brother Yarrow. So again, I'm like... <laughs> I don't have anything called the, the Word of the Dead. Or is it under T, maybe? But I guess, like, they're implying that I have it. And nobody said, wait, you don't actually have it, you dummy. What are you, what are you doing? So it's not the. So then, if it's just Word of the Dead. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm still. <laughs> I'm so confused. You were such a good man. All right, we're gonna. So we're gonna. I don't uh, think the Red Mad. We're going to end. This episode Scares now. Much about I, that. I was gonna end it. Probably not. No. Uh, before this, but I, I was curious to see if they acknowledged my having the word of the dead but no no they didn't so I'm still confused on whether or not I w was supposed to pick it up or the fabled prodigy what but uh, this has been episode 42 episode 42 of Enderall Forgotten Stories is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. 
Right, for some reason, it's not giving me a quest marker to talk ah. to this time. Bless you, my sir. Mm. Walk blessed. Bless you, my sir. So we're going to end it here, looking at Aaron Thiel with the angel uh, behind him. verse 80, 100 times. Please. All right, well, never mind. We're going to back up a little bit because change. she won't shut up. All right, this has been episode 42 of... Oh, my yes, gosh. it makes sense. <laughs> and they're all forgotten stories. I am Loki the Mad Titan. Uh, with all that being said, I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Pathless. Thank you so very much for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good night. Bye.